Good afternoon, it's the 23rd of February, 2021. I just want to pay my respects to uh, Tony Scrivens, whose funeral was today, and to Dean Spooner, whose funeral was yesterday. Both worked at this pair, I'm outside to Silver Colliery, which is now a country park, and it's now being used as a four wheel drive to make these. But it's easy for all by Dalton Main Colliery's original name, named Dalton Main, which were later renamed as Silver relating to the sounding woodland of the same name. Site covered 120 hectares, bloody bloody blah. First mine operation at Silver began in 1900 when the first deep mine shafts were sunk, opening up access to the Bonesley coal scene, entering at approximately 750 yards deep. By 1912, Silver mine employed a total of 4,000 tons of 95 men. The big number of miners Silver would employ. In the early days of the mine, the hazardous working conditions earned Silver the macabre nickname of the Merry Widow Maker. 1975 saw the visit of Edward, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, blah de blah de blah. H586 prop records only second day's profit in the area. Producing of one million tons of coal. This was produced by work for such as 1342 men. So it eventually closed on 24th of December 1994, surviving a total of 94 years. What about that? Well the good news is it's a bit time to work out. Started in 1971, finished in 1992, February 1992. And there's an old here, look, here's the wheel. Here's an old collier here. Long John. How are you going, mate? All right, John, I'm just doing a bit. We're just, uh, just like, just saying it with Tony's funeral today and Dean's yesterday and yeah. paying his respects to them and anybody else who's passed away, which is just not unfortunately, at the work to Silverwood. And uh, just for me, I'll tell you, just be saying, John, I started in 71, finished in. Uh, 1996, and I can't, but to be honest, they were best years of my life, mainly because of men I worked with, so, of which you were one, John. Yes, yes, absolute stars there yeah. were, and there were some characters. They were all characters. Barry so. Hassel, absolute I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to name any names, because yeah. it's unfair if they're not right. naming names, so right. much as ever were a legend, they were just one of a, probably a thousand legends for now, I they? Yeah. Hey, yeah. They were just one of a thousand or more legends, they were all legends in their own right. They were all comedians. All comedians and all grafters, and, and they're all as important yes, as each other. Starting from, oh, something like that, you know, Starting from manager, well, they could manage without him actually, but ah. right down to baths attendant, they were all not nobody could have worked without each other. Right. Do you know what I mean? So everybody had an important to, part to play. And so, you know what I liked about this bit? What? If there were a bucket at the top of bath steps, because somebody ah, got it all yeah. poorly, it would always. Any, anybody who worked at this pit. Uh, and I mean, that fell on hard time. If you know me not, you're duty bound at that time to chuck a minimum of a pound in, and I'm going back 40 years when a pound got worth a pound, and you're only dragging six and seven pound. But uh, the thing is, John, when I think about it, 71, early early 70s, men from stub income, they fit straight in as though they were silver through and through. Yeah. Then after that, they came from, uh, I think they came from Barley Hall, or it might have come before one. They came from Elsica, they come from Cartwood. I mean, there's some ugly buggers come from Cartwood, but. Oh. but you know what, they're just mining men through and through, so... All fitted in. Choose which pit... Hey, up, John, you're late! Hell yeah! Ah, not bad. So choose which pit you worked at. You cut them up and they were all made of the same stuff. Blood, sweat and tears and, and till, cuts. Till 1984. Till 1984, well, even then, majority of men, you can't mourn. I think they just saw what broke the camel's bike, what other bonus scheme, but we can go on and on and talk about what could have been and what couldn't have been. I'm not here to do that, John. I mean, it's pay respect, as you are, you're saying, yep. Colton, as we used to work for. All the men, I mean, we were, not, we were one of a dying breed now, or two of a dying breed. Uh, My generation and, and people 10 years younger, that's it. That's it, no more miners. No more miners. I can remember going to miners reunion when they couldn't get through to do it. One of the youngest in there. <laughs> nah. One of the oldest. One of the oldest in there. But yeah, so Silverwood Pit. The, the pride of South Yorkshire, by far and above the best bit of South Yorkshire, better than Maltby. <coughs> Maltby could only be a... Uh, well, Maltby wanted to be silver, and no disrespect to the Maltby miners, because they were just as good as us, but we just got a, a bit that's more... That's off to the silver, We just got a bit more coal, so... Anyway, that's off to Silverwood. Anybody who worked there, and anybody who's even drove through it... And don't up. forget, boys, after this lot's done, this pandemic, whatever you want to call it, let's get down to bagging and let's have a good drink. Uh, uh, all lot's left, that is. Uh, anyway, that's it from me and that's it from him and it, Johnny. Goodbye. Happy days.